Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. If you're getting frequent program crashes or even blue screens of death like behind me here, well, your RAM might be to blame. In this video, I'll show you how to check it. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, while editing videos, I've been running into problems with Adobe Premiere. It seems to crash quite a bit. It does on a normal basis, but lately it's been crashing quite a bit and causing blue screens of death, and I couldn't figure out why. Now I had 32 gigabytes of G-Skill Ripjaws RAM in my computer, and that was really more than Adobe required, but I was still getting these crashes, still getting the BSODs, and it was tying back to a memory issue. If something crashes and you take a look at the logs and it says memory issue, more than likely it's your RAM. If you're getting random BSODs, it could very well be your RAM. In which case, the first thing I would recommend doing is shutting off your computer, unplugging it, opening it up, taking the RAM out, putting the RAM back in, and that might actually fix your issue. Sometimes when your computer moves around, the RAM chips can loosen up a little bit. And if you've got a loose connection there, well, it's gonna cause you some issues. Unfortunately, I did try doing that and it didn't help out my situation. Now there are a number of ways to thoroughly test your RAM out to make sure everything's okay. Memtest 86 is one of them, but there is a quick and easy way here. And that is Memtest from HCI Design. Now this program I used is the free version. There are paid versions, but you don't really have to use them if you don't want to. I'll drop a link to this site in the description below. When you download Memtest, you should end up with a zip file and that zip file should be a program called Memtest and it should look like this. From my experience, there is really no issue here in terms of viruses, in terms of spyware. This should be absolutely fine. When you open up Memtest, it will ask you to quit every single program running on your computer. If you're looking for accuracy, then yes, close everything. If you're looking for something quick and easy, yes, you can leave some stuff open and hopefully it'll find your issue anyway. And it will take a while depending on how much RAM you have. If you don't have a lot of RAM, this test should be pretty quick. Uh, but if you have a lot of RAM, it might take a while and it does take a lot of resources. So I wouldn't really plan on using your computer for anything while you're doing this test. So from here, click OK. Next up, it'll ask you to enter the megabytes of RAM to test. Now, my recommendation here is entering 3000 for three gigs of RAM. If you have less RAM, then enter less. And if you're not quite sure, open up your task manager. In task manager, under the performance tab, it'll tell you how much memory you have available. So I have 31.9 gigs of RAM available to use, and I'm currently using 9.7 gigs. For the purposes of this test, I'm just gonna round this up to 10. That gives me 21.9 gigs of RAM to test. And just for reference, I have two sticks in my computer that are 16 gigs each. So testing 21.9 gigs of RAM will test both of these Maybe not to the fullest, but it will be a pretty good coverage. So at this point, we've got it set up to test three gigs of RAM or 3000 megabytes. I'm gonna click start testing here. When I do that, it will bring up another pop-up window. That window says your computer's RAM will now be tested. If any problems are found, you will be notified. You can stop the test whenever you wish, but the longer you run it, the better. So you can close this mid test. It's not gonna cause any problems. Right now it is testing. It says 0.8% coverage with zero errors. So it is only testing three gigs of RAM at this point. If I want to test more, I just open up another version of Memtest. From here, I'm going to type in 3000 again and click start testing. And yes, you can do this simultaneously. It shouldn't be an issue. So at this point, I'm testing six gigs of RAM. If I want to test even more here, I'll open up another version of Memtest and I can test another 3000. So I'm going to type in 3000 here for 3000 megabytes, not gigabytes. So now I am testing nine gigs of RAM overall. And if you don't believe me, well, let's open up the task manager and take a look. And you can see right here in the task manager, I'm using 17.5 of 31.9 gigabytes. So the more of these I open, the more RAM I'm testing. On top of that, my CPU usage is actually increasing too. So pay attention to that. So here's a screenshot of what my tests look like when I had everything running. I'm running nine different instances of mem test and everything looks to be going okay. Then I started running into some issues. Unfortunately, I got this message here. It says memtest error, memory error detected. Pair 5677930 does not store values accurately. Memtest has detected that your computer cannot accurately store data in RAM. You need to fix this. And when I click no for wanting more information, it popped up again with another error. And I clicked no on that, and it popped up again with yet another error. And then after finding a bunch of different errors, we found this new error here, memtest error, memory error detected, copying between 56A, 3C6, and 56A, 35A did not result in accurate copy. 
Memtest has detected your computer cannot accurately store data in RAM. You need to fix this. So at that point I figured, hey, maybe I need to fix this. Now from here, I do recommend running the test a couple extra times. If you have multiple sticks of RAM, just pull one of them out, move the other stick into the primary socket and run the test. If you run into issues, well, you might've just found the memory stick with the problems. If that one has no issues, well, maybe turn off your computer, remove that stick, plug in the other stick into the primary socket and run the tests. If you run into issues, well, maybe you just found the stick with the issues. And after you're done all of that, then it's time to either replace the RAM or claim warranty on your existing RAM. Now, depending on the type of RAM that you have, this might be really hit and miss, but you might actually have a good warranty. For G-Skill, for example, I have a limited lifetime warranty, which is amazing. So all of the information I need is printed right on the back of these RAM sticks. I don't have the original receipt anymore. I don't have the box anymore, but it doesn't really matter because everything I have is right here. So I headed on over to the website. They do have a form to fill out and the process is pretty simple, but it does take time. Now, if you don't have warranty or if you don't have the time, and I really think that's the bigger question here because I didn't have the time. I needed my computer up and running right away. I didn't have time to deal with a warranty claim. So I just picked up some new RAM. Before you do that, just make sure that you know what RAM you're getting. Make sure you know what RAM you need. You might need to double check with your computer manufacturer if you've ordered a pre-built, or if you've built it yourself, you might actually have a pretty good idea. But either way, just double check on the RAM that you're picking up. At the end of the day, I put new RAM in my computer. I reran mem tests just to be sure everything was fine. And lo and behold, it was, and I'm no longer getting the blue screen at death. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. Hopefully you don't really have a memory issue. And if you do, well, it kind of sucks to deal with. I'm still dealing with G-Skill right now for my warranty claim and hopefully they honor it. Anyways, that is all I've got for this video. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. If you've had RAM issues, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.